Hi everyone, I'm Shubham Jhavar. I'm a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing JE Advanced 2019, Paper 2, Mathematics. And the question for this video is this. The value of the integral 0 to pi by 2, 3 under root cos theta divided by root cos theta plus root sin theta whole to the power 5 d theta equals. So this is a numerical type question where you have to answer by typing in the value. Now, seeing this question, the first thought that may come to mind is to use property of definite integration. You may use property 4, property 6, uh, especially property 6 given that, uh, you know, one of the limits is 0. And what's that property? Integral 0 to 2a fx dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of x plus f of 2a minus x dx. But as you do this, it will become integral 0 to pi by 4. If you, you know, think and try to visualize integral 0 to pi by 4, 3 by under root cos theta plus under root sin theta whole to the power 5 will come common in the two terms f of x and f of 2a minus x. And the numerator essentially would become under root cos theta plus under root sin theta, which will cancel out. And ultimately, you'll get using that property integral 0 to pi by 4 3 by under root cos theta plus under root sin theta whole to the power 4 d theta and then you'll uh, not be benefited any further uh, from any property as such and you'll have to do the integration in the indefinite way and then you know of uh, putting the limits so you know the better way would be to start with uh, you know, uh, the integration as per indefinite integration and then put the limits. So in such a case, we can divide numerator and denominator by cos to the power 5 by 2 theta, which essentially is root cos theta whole to the power 5. So this will give us integral 0 to pi by 2, 3 root cos theta divided by cos to the power 5 by 2 theta in numerator would give you sec square theta. And in denominator, as you divide denominator by cos to the power 5 by 2 theta and you take inside this expression which is having power 5, you'd essentially get 1 plus root 10 theta whole to the power 5. Now we can take 10 theta as t square which essentially would mean sec square theta d theta is 2t dt. And the limits will change from 0 to pi by 2 to 0 to infinity and you'll get 3 times 2t dt divided by 1 plus t whole to the power 5. So basically it becomes integral 0 to infinity 6 times t by 1 plus t whole to the power 5 dt. Now the trick here is to do plus 1 minus 1. So it essentially becomes 6 times integral 0 to infinity t plus 1 divided by 1 plus t whole to the power 5 is essentially 1 plus t whole to the power 4 minus integral 1 plus t whole to the power 5. So essentially this becomes 6 times you may say minus 1 by 3 1 plus t whole to the power 3 minus minus 1 by 4 1 plus t whole to the power 4 with the limits 0 infinity. Now as you put the limits when you put infinity anywhere this expressions will become 0. Now when we put 0 mind it it is the lower limit so the expressions will write with minus sign. So it essentially becomes 6 times 1 by 3 minus 1 by Four. Again, this is the lower limit, so we'll write with minus sign. So this essentially becomes, if you see carefully, 6 times 1 by 12, which is half, or you say 0 0.5, which is the answer. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next question.